welcome to the Virtual Groomer. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. And my choice of soap today is going to be going to be from Declaration Grooming. And this is, I believe this is Trimagistus. It might be Trismagistus. I don't quite sure. Um, this is a direct, I, I might not be a direct dupe, but it is a dupe of uh, Terre de Mai, um, which is a popular clown. I think it was made in like, it's a pretty old cologne. And the scent on this is lovely. It's citrusy, it's woody. It's very nice. This is in um, Decorations Milk Steak Formula. So I look forward to using that once again on camera. My razor of choice today is New in the Den. And this is a Charcoal Goods Level 2. This is with the hammered handle, which is a beautifully made handle. And inside this is a new blade. Um, I've never used this blade before, so I'm excited to give it a try. And this is the Gillette Platinum. Now, we'll, we'll talk about a bit, bit more about this blade a bit later. Um, the brush is another new brush. This is a Declaration B6 with a Jefferson handle, which means it's a 28 mil knot. This, I've, I've had one use of this brush and it's lovely. It's very soft, great back pump. Um, we're gonna pretty much can do what we've been doing recently and just go straight into the video here. Um, let me load up the soap. So, I've spoken quite a bit about milk steak fairly recently on my channel. I do think, look at these tips. I do think it's a fantastic soap base, I do. However, it's very soft. And in my experience, it's very, very easy to overhydrate slash overload. So I'm not going to press too hard down here. And we're going to get enough soap so I don't end up thinning it out. But at the same time, I don't want to get too much soap because I've had experiences where it can be pretty gloopy. And you don't want that either. Plus, we need to be nice to this brush. It's very expensive. <laughs> A good load. Let's keep loading up here. The backbone on this brush is fantastic. So it has a pretty decent capability of being able to pick up lather and uh, eat the lather in your in your soap. So there's quite a lot of, not so much eat the lather, but it can pick up a lot. So we're gonna stop there. I think that should be enough. Um, let's kind of clean this off because there's not much residual lather on the, on the top here. We'll wet the face and get something up. So I have, uh, I've used dupes of this clone before. Um, Yardley, which is a London based perfuming company, have done their own dupe of this. And it smells exactly the same. So I do have a bit of experience with this scent. I believe Fine also duped this as well. I can't remember what it was called. If you know, leave a leave a comment. Okay, let's play the brush bit here. Pretty much all of this is with the um, water retained in the knot because this this knot can really take can retain some water. Man, should be a nice lather. The concern I have about this knot is. It's already shed a little bit. Now, this is a pre-owned knot. I mean, you can't buy B6s new anymore, of course. This is a pre-owned knot. It's already shed quite a few hairs. I hope this is why. This isn't why the guy sold it to me and he just didn't want it. I mean, it's shedding the odd hair now and again. And that is not cool. It's not shedding loads. 
but it's shedding enough for me to notice that it's shedding quite a bit. I think in my first shave, I probably shed three hairs, which isn't loads, I agree, but I don't want it, I don't want it to get worse or continue. So it's just about being nice to the brush, as stupid as that sounds. Kind of don't smash your soaps with it like you would a synth. I know, I think you'll be okay. So I would say this soap provides more of a low structure lather. So I've lost three hairs so far this shave already, so it's a little bit concerning, but we'll keep monitoring it. If it gets bad, I'll chat to the guy who sold it to me. Uh, see if he had a similar problem, but the actual lathering capabilities of it are amazing. And, um, I guess you kind of should expect that for like a 200 or so dollar brush, right? If they weren't amazing, then why are you spending all that money? You know, being the cynic that I am. I don't know how ready this is. I mean, it's getting there. It's very creamy, this base, and I've just lost another hair. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite alarmed about this. Okay, let's just add a bit more water here. I monitor this. I mean, you're gonna get a bit of hair loss, but this thing, I mean, it's definitely not new, as I said, so we'll see. So this is a really nice lather here. So we're gonna just smooth it down a bit and stop here. Because the problem with the shedding brush is I cannot with all confidence sell it because it's a bit of a con. Because whoever I'm selling it to is going to experience the same thing. And that's just a dick move. But uh, I mean, it's not too bad, but it's definitely noticeable. Okay, so this is the Charcoal Goods Level 2 with a Gillette Platinum. Let's shave. It feels smooth. There's two types of Gillette Platinum I've seen. There's one in a blue box and there's one in a white box. I have the one in the blue box. I don't know if there's a difference. It feels pretty sharp. Like noticeably. But at the same time, there is a little bit of blade bill on this razor. Not much, but a little bit. Is it smooth? I would say that. I, I'm the sort of guy that tends to keep my uh, blades pretty consistent. Um, I use... I use three blades regularly, which is the Permasharp, the Pulse Silver, and the Gillette Nasset. I don't really change from those too much because, frankly, I think they need to be quite consistent. But trying new things definitely isn't a bad thing, and the residual slickness on the soap is ridiculous. Like I said, once this is dialed in, this is the best soap, but it has to be dialed in, and it's not easy. What you heard there is Giles fighting with George, more than likely. Giles is little and a bit of a pain. I 
and George gets annoyed either way. This feels quite sharp this way, like I said. Not like feather sharp, but sharp. So I'm gonna need to be careful on my cross grain pass. Residual, residual slickness is outstanding. Sweat the face, or at least wash off the face of it. There's some remaining soap, so you'd expect. The residual slickness is brilliant. I really enjoy the scent of this. Okay, let's uh, lather up again. Very nice. Like I said with my previous soaps, I normally add a bit more water here, but with this, I don't think I can, because it just cannot take much of it. And for me, that's a definitely a downside to the performance of the soap, because I like to really hydrate it. And it seems to me that you can't really. I mean, it's mighty slick enough, don't get me wrong, but it's still noticeable like how little water it can take. And that kind of bugs me. Okay. So your cross grain here, and this will be more of a kind of like a telltale sign of the blade. Yeah, this is a sharp blade. Really sharp. Residual slickness is incredible on this soap. My two most important qualities are slickness and residual slickness. The post shave doesn't matter to me too much because can pretty much always use a post shave product. So I don't tend to care too much about post shave. It's there for sure, like it's definitely a factor. But unless you're skipping a post shave, it doesn't really matter. I've got an interesting bit of a history with Gillette Blades. I know a lot of people that really enjoy them. What the hell are they doing upstairs? Maybe they're bowling. Um, I've got a bit, a bit of a history of Gillette Blades. Some of them I really like, and some of them I actually really don't like. So the NASA is fantastic. I really am not a fan of the silver blue. So some people really like it, I don't. So from what I can tell about this blade at the moment is the ratios of the blade, by, by ratios I mean smoothness and sharpness, I would say it's sharper than it is smooth and that isn't really my thing. It feels sharper and borderline, borderline harsh.
It's smooth, don't get me wrong, but it's not pulse silver smooth. I'm gonna leave it there. That was a good shape. Um, let's get this loose soap from here. Be nice to the brush. Cause I don't wanna, you know, yank the knot out or something. It spread nice actually, which shows that it was a decent consistency. Like I didn't overhydrate it, which is obviously a good thing. Just clean the brush here, be careful with it because it is a bit sensitive. This brush though is a dream to use. Like it has, uh, for me it has just enough backbone Actually, that's probably not true. It has a lot of backbone, but not too much. And it's it's very, very easy to make a face lather with. Okay, we're good. There's no uh, soap left in the knot. Flick it out a bit. So we're just gonna let that sit there for a little bit. And then we'll dry off with the towel. Soap's already been dried off. I'll deal with the razor in a bit. Chuck that there. Let's uh, rinse the face and we'll get to post shave, which makes me remember, I forgot a towel. Got the towel, let's, uh, let's rinse off a bit. Like I said, not too bothered about a post shave because I'm always going to use one for the most part, you know. The only time I haven't used a post shave is when I've been traveling and trying out a new post shave product and then I realized the post shave product really wasn't good for my skin. So I pretty much relied on the post shave with soap for the week, but that doesn't happen rarely. That doesn't happen often, <laughs> not the opposite. Which is, doesn't happen really. Um, the post shave on this is wonderful. Very smooth, no tightness. Again, like this has been developed with a fantastic post shave and I can understand why. So we're not gonna do the matching splash today. I am still in the process of testing some of uh, Heather's splash. This is splash 11. In fact, let's use Splash 10. Let's give that a go. So I found with uh, Splash 10, or Splash 11 rather, it didn't leave my skin feeling as good as Splash 8. Splash 8, I really like. So let's see the difference on this one. No alcohol burn, but I didn't really get enough there. The important thing though, is all of these splashes are more than good enough to, I guess, not have to use some sort of aftershave bar, which is important to me, and that shows the quality of a splash. The shave overall was good. The blade is sharp, I can give it that. Yeah, it's very, very sharp. It's probably one step down from the feather when I would say the pole silver is two steps down from the feather and so are my regular blades. So it was noticeably more sharp. I mean, is this a good idea for me regularly? It's not the sort of blade I would use regularly. I I'll give that one some more tries because I feel as if the second shave might take some of the harshness out of the blade. But yeah, let's do a recap of what we used today and I will let you guys be on your way. So my soap of choice was Tri slash Tres Magistus, don't know how to pronounce it. This is lovely, this is a really nice dupe. Um, milk steak, as I said, is fantastic if you can dial it in. If you can't dial it in, it's not very good. It gets very thin and pretty much unusable. My soap, or my razor of choice, I didn't shave with the soap, is, 
Let's dry that off a bit before I uh, show it to you guys. My razor of choice was the Charcoal Goods Level 2 with the hammered handle. This is about a three inch handle, so quite small, but very, very nice shaver. My brush of choice was New in the Den, the Declaration B6. The color of this is, um, Scott calls it the Autumn Glory. It's very, very nice. And uh, it has some wonderful tips too, if you look at that. Very nice fan knot, about, it's 28 mil. Very nice knot. And my post today was uh, one of my testers, which is Splash 10 by Zingari Man. It's feeling very, very nice, which I would expect from one of Heather's products. And my fresh blade was the Gillette Platinum. Like I said, I'll give these another go and kind of see how it goes. But yeah, that was our shave today, guys. If you're not around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Apart from that, wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day and goodbye for now.